afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, May 14th, 2019, and we're so excited to have with us in the studio, Big Nothing. I've got places, I've got people, I've got 
you're watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Big Nothing. What is up? Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Go ahead and, yeah, take your drinks and tune up, do your things if yes. you want. Um, since we just had a showcase of, like, uh, the three vocalists going on, would you talk to me a little bit about how, how you kind of divide up those songwriting duties, maybe? Does each of you who sings write your own lyrics for that song? Yeah, exactly. Okay. We each kind of um, record, like, crappy little phone demos and yeah, yeah. practice Send and them, all yeah. it. So and we love doing harmonies. So we all try to like sing on each other's songs and sure. make it kind of a, a cohesive thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> do you still do you still like I don't know, do you ever write songs for each other? Like you write a song and then you think, I don't know, this is a Liz song <clears throat> or something like, like that. Give it give it off to her. Making the record we kind of tried to do that, but I don't know. All three of us are really stubborn. And, and proud. <laughs> with your own ideas, so yeah. we all like. I think it would like we'd bring it and then be like, no, no, like this. Yeah, you yeah. Go, ah. and then like, Fuck, I'm just gonna do it. I, that, that that allows for a lot of diversity in your sound as well, I suppose. But then thematically, do you try and get? I don't know if you're building a record, but then there are three different songwriters. Do you still try and find some through line to to put those together in some way, or find yeah some cohesion? Yeah. Writing the record was really, really hard. But <laughs> for for that time. reason, yeah, yeah okay, a while. yeah. But we we had like a phase where we were like quiet and trying to be like teenage fan clubby, and then okay, we kind of just like I don't know what happened, but we had one practice where we were like, let's try yelling like we used to, and it was like that's so fun. That's way more fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, I think the replacements is always like our go-to. Like, yeah, because they were a band where that was like a thing. Yeah. Where they their records were all over the place, but yeah. it always sounded like them. So we kind of keep that in mind. Sure, sure. Yeah, them and Tom Petty you had Ooh, mentioned yeah. before. What is what stands out? I mean, I guess you've just said about the replacements, but you could speak more or like about those two artists. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean cohesion and pop. Mm. I feel mm -hmm. and like both of them have the an attitude about them, which is like just so uh, like just you know. Everything, all, all like uh, fancy stuff to the wind, just like yeah. really good pop song. Yeah, yeah. and do like feels don't, good too. Yeah. yeah, do it feels good. Don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But if, if if I was gonna start on either of those artists, where should I go? Like I I know Tom Petty because he's iconic, but uh -huh. I definitely don't know the replacements well enough. You know, like is there a record you'd recommend that That's I? Matt's this is how you dive Matt? in, or for the replacements, let it be. For sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Tom Petty. Tom Petty, I would just say the song, The Waiting. Okay. If you listen okay. to that song and don't feel changed. Then leave. Then we're not friends. <laughs> yeah, that's and sorry. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> cool. All right. Thanks. Um, you guys can go into your next set when you're ready. And Rick, could you give me uh, other headphones? I, uh, they're cutting out like half the time.
Radio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Big Nothing. Would you all share with me a little bit about that video for Waste My Time? Did you direct that, Chris? Or, like, did you do the treatment for it or anything like that? I threw together a very funny idea that turned out to be... Accepted? Sort of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Accepted. I saw, like, no, I seven like thumbs up on YouTube, and I was, like, never looking at it again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I tried to sort of play off of what I felt from Matt's lyrics to that song. Yeah. Still up in the air if I nailed it or not. I really just wanted to see all of us in funny outfits. Yeah, I really liked those. Did you the keep them? The overalls are great. Yeah, they're super nice. They're like white overalls and then they're wearing like maroonish hoodies, I suppose. Uh, if you yeah. haven't seen it, you can check it out. Do you have those? Have you ever thought about playing in I them? I threw mine out two days later. I, okay. I sleep yeah, in mine, personally. <laughs> I shower it. You shower yeah, it. I only shower it. <laughs> <laughs> In those overalls. <laughs> um, how did you pick those, like the things you're digging up? I liked kind of the, the humor of like you throw infinite jest into the woods. And yes, I do like, hate that book. There's like a bundle of money in there and there's one of those like self-help positivity type books that you dig up. Uh, just kind of like, I don't know, meme sort of stuff you're looking at or things that are in the indie rock subculture I, stuff. I guess so. I think it's like the, the futility of you know, simple advice and maxims that are just, you know, supposed to read them in the morning. Yeah, 30 and days and then you're... okay, but... Sure, sure. Nothing's that simple. Sometimes you just have to kind of grin, bear it, get through it, spend your 20s thinking infinite jest is really important, <laughs> yeah. and then wake up one day and really want your friend to throw it into the woods. <laughs> we <laughs> actually, we filled that hole back in, but we put infinite jest back in the woods. <laughs> so it's at my parents' house. It's gone in the woods. forever. You kept, yeah. you kept all those others, but that was deep, deep in there. Oh, that's so good. It seemed right. Cool, cool. All right, yeah, well, thanks for sharing. Go into your next set. Cool. Oh 
disappoint you too much No one ever taught me how to be anything but a shame I'm finding faces in the floorboards The wooden patterns stare at me like they're bored It's like a song in my head But I can't figure out the chords Yeah This is Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Big Nothing. I have like two parallel scenes in my head. One is of Kel from Good Burger, like waking up in his outfit and then showering, you know, with Good Burger outfit. And then you waking up and throwing the overalls on before you shower. That's just, that's amazing. Okay, uh, before we go into the last song, would you all tell me about your uh, donut shop? Specifically, how did you first get into, I don't know, baking or sweets, things like that? Liz is a professional baker. Whoa, yes, yes. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I opened it like five years ago, and Liz quickly came on board. Liz is the head baker there. Cool. Um, Yeah, I I didn't ever think I would own a donut shop. (laughs) Yeah. I didn't care that much about donuts. Now I do. I like them (laughs) Yeah, yeah, didn't, Uh, though, prior to that. But I was not a baker. I've always liked cooking, but... um, Not baking, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We were just trying to think of something that we could do at night that we could sell to coffee shops, like some type of baked good, and I was like, there's not a donut shop in the city, or a vegan donut shop in the city. Um, and then Liz probably came on like six months later. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I just like needed to be a part of it. Yeah, My once you saw it, a bakery. Yeah, I need to be a part of <laughs> so it. So I yeah. harassed them for a long time about it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I think finally I think happened. Matt thought the peak of the business was when he sold donuts to Laura Jane Grace. Oh, that is awesome. That was so like true. the third yes. show they mm-hmm. donutted it. At. I love that. Donutted. <laughs> and then he opened a shop. It was like eh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, but that Laura Jane Grace, that yeah. was the thing. Yeah. There was like no intention of opening a shop. Like sure. it was just. Uh, yeah, we just started doing it, and then it just kept it growing just or whatever. Growing. Up, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so did you go to culinary school then, or like I did, it just yeah. thing? Cool. I went Where? to school for baking and pastry. Nice. Uh, it's called Johnson and Wales. It's okay. in Providence, Rhode Island. Was that something you'd been doing since growing up? I mean, what pushes you to? I don't yeah. know, want to do that as a professional. I mean, yeah, like my mom always baked and like my grandparents too. So I feel like I was just always in the kitchen helping out. And sure. then when I was in high school, I realized that I could. Uh, enter like a program for it so I was like that sounds cool so it, like actually I skipped like half the day of high school like going to this nice. culinary program which is great cool. and I went to went to college nice and yeah. then what about the vegan side of things like I, did you have to learn that after the fact mm, or no I became really interested in that in high school um I was vegetarian or I still am uh I went vegetarian when I was like 16 or something and I just started buying like a lot of cookbooks and I would go to like Barnes and Noble after school and just like scribble down recipes cool. and stuff. Um, so yeah. And now like, 
it's so easy yeah. to do it. Yeah. But like back then, it was still kind of like you had to really yeah replace con- everything yeah. in, in that mm-hmm. way. Yeah, yeah. Or consciously but change it. It's just a lot of fun. I just find it more like challenging and cool. interesting. So, yeah. Very cool. What's the name of that shop? Dottie's for Donuts. Dottie's Donuts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chris and I have also both worked there. It's okay, a great, nice. great yeah. thing for him to yeah. own a donut yeah. shop when we get home from tour. <laughs> so you can be like, hey, you need some help? Hey, I'm real <laughs> broke and I'm here anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> so serve this Let person. me work. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Exactly. All right, take it away with your last one. Well, thank you. Live. We've been in the studio with Big Nothing. You can check them out on tour with Radiator Hospital for a few more days. They're playing at Empty Bliss tonight in Chicago, and their latest release, Chris, is out now. Is it Salinas Records? On Salinas Records. So get that, stream it, listen to it. Thank you so much for Thank performing you for this us. Is fucking amazing. Thank yeah. You so much. Thanks to everyone in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew yes. for making it look beautiful, yes. live stream operators, <laughs> viewers. Thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout by social media to us or them if you just want to connect from all of us here at the audio tree studios thanks for tuning in goodbye (gasps) it's your birthday all right so you guys want to do it for real now